Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this cooking video, which is our chicken with mukki battery. Anyways, guys, uh, today I will be showing you guys how to make chicken leg and thigh. Honestly, I came up with the recipe myself. Uh, it is a very, very basic recipe. It only takes a couple of household sauces, just a couple of different things. But the result will come. You guys will. I would say you guys can. probably make this for your family like if you don't cook you can try this and surprise your family that's what i'm going to say the girls the guys guys especially you you know take effort take part in iftari making you know so first of all i'll tell you what we need we need chicken legs and thighs you know like piece kehte hain isko we need a tawa a pan and a uh, dhakna on top of it for dhakan purposes we need crushed peppers we need lassan we need an onion an empty bowl and a couple of sauces this is my sauce drawer even if you don't have any of these that's completely okay so these are the sauces that i use i use a uh, garlic sweet chili a uh, thai sweet chili so any hot sauce thousand islands or mayonnaise if you have it and um i just use basil and italian herbs i'll get to the mixture of sauces in a bit first we have to put the chicken in the pan whoa <laughs> Guys make sure the stove is at its lowest. Okay? Once it is, put the pan on it. Get some pre-warming done. Once that's done, we're going to get butter because we'll be cooking in butter not oil. Now we're going to get the chicken and prepare the chicken. I uh, just have to make sure that it's cooking from the inside, so you just have to put like a couple of cuts on it. I'm not an expert, so don't judge me. As you can see the pan is nice and warm. We have to marinate the chicken before we put it in the stove. So we're going to marinate it with salt, pepper, and some italian herbs and we're going to repeat the process once that is done and our chicken is ready to be cooked we're just going to start putting the chicken in the pan and we are going to cover it up with a lid now we're going to leave the chicken like that for at least 10 minutes and in the meantime i will show you how to prepare the sauce to prepare the sauce we're going to cut the onion because the onion is going to go in the sauce We'll get the pan ready again with some butter, just like so. We're gonna get the onions. Just put it all in together. So we have our onion and chicken on the right path. Now we just have to prepare the sauce. Now once again, there's no real method to how I make this. I just go, I just wing it completely. So whatever sauces you have, it's fine. Okay. I just take the garlic chili sauce. I'll just pour it out like that in a bowl. I'll take some sweet Thai chili. I'll take a hot sauce. Take some crushed peppers. I'll take mayonnaise or Thousand Island and start mixing it. Now we have to cook them until they're caramelized, or in other words, brown. So the onions are nice and caramelized, as you can see. Once the onions are done, we're just gonna take them and add them into our sauce. Nice mix, just like that. Now the reason why we put the lid on the pan in which the chicken is cooking is so that the heat stays inside of the pan. Otherwise you're going to end up burning the skin and not cooking the chicken from the inside. So it's important that you have a lid on at all times while it's cooking. You see the texture is coming out to be a little burny, a little crunchy. That's what I like the most. Now when we get to this stage, we're just going to get our sauce and we're going to dump it on the chicken. Like literally just dump it on it. Just like that and just spread it across. Cover the chicken with it completely. We're gonna flip it back around after five minutes, and we're gonna cover the other side. Like, and we'll cover it right back up. Now all we have to do is just wait the last five minutes, and then we're done. The pan is hot. All right, look at that. And voila, we are good. And there you go. That is the chicken. This is the chicken that I prepared for my friends and family for iftar. and you should try the same it's absolutely amazing and i'm pretty sure you're going to end up surprising a lot of people with your cooking skills all the best of luck